Right, like yeah, they just the whole time. Uh, I guess, yeah. And... We're able to like adapt to our environment where okay. I think the others they're just super excited and then maybe they kind of freak out or they don't know. Yeah, I think I... I think for me one question that I've been meaning to ask you but I never had is it harder chasing your first Olympics or is it hard repeating and going to another Olympics? Would you say? Ooh. And this is gonna be your third run, so this is God willing, you go God willing. Three. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think every um, quad is harder in a different aspect. So the first quad was it just to get on the team. Yeah. Um, my second Olympics, it was to prove that I deserved <laughs> to be <laughs> my the... first Olympic team. Yeah. And then, honestly, this one, I would say it's probably the hardest uh, politically or just, you know, things outside of my uh, power mm -hmm. that's been really difficult for me. So every quad always has its its Own ups and downs, yeah. but you know, as an athlete, we know how we know that we have in control of uh, the certain aspects in our lives, which is training hard, you know, yeah. uh, researching our opponents, and just making sure everything is ready for that given day. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's the same pathway, just maybe a little different way. Yeah. But, yeah. Makes how sense. do you feel so far? You I'm, know, I'm excited. Tokyo. That, yeah. So one the of the goal. things was what couple days is ago is like one year out from Tokyo. Oh, it's yeah, crazy, yeah, it's, right? It's crazy. Like I yesterday actually, yeah. yes, yeah. <laughs> I remember like right after Rio when we were going to Worlds or we were just you know just starting for Tokyo. Now for it's the literally, next around, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, literally it's around next the year. Corner. It's, yeah. And it's less than that because qualifications is maybe six months yep. away or whatever. And so yeah, away. absolutely. It's exciting, nerve wracking, but I think for the most part, it's yeah. just exciting as it is, and yeah, just uh, yeah. the opportunity to do it is great. But doing it is going to be even better. So. Yeah, even better. And this is your first time in Peru, correct? Yes, yeah. first time. Um, it's, I notice we have an outdoor venue, but usually yeah. when we have an outdoor venue, it's like eighty degrees plus. But this one's supposed to be. 50 feels and like below. 40. <laughs> 50 and so below. it's gonna it's gonna be a nice warm up, I guess. Yeah, um, it's gonna then, be a lot different. Um, I think the so when I what I was thinking this trip is how amazing athletes are. Not I'm not putting myself up either, yeah. but the things that we have to go through. Yeah. Before we even get onto the mat. For example, our rooms. Oh man. <laughs> how loud it is. It's, so our rooms are upstairs from the cafeteria. The cafeteria is open 24-7. Let me repeat this again. It's right above the cafeteria and it's 24-7. And it everything, is loud. everyone is paper thin. Yeah. Paper thin. So yeah, you can it, hear every conversation. Yeah, almost. and the lights are on. So you have this like beaming, being shot into your room. That's right. And yeah, so the um, softball team had a chant off against yeah. some other team. And, yeah, and then, yeah, and then we had the rec room was open and they had that music. Oh, man. And, and <laughs> I'm, so, like, I'm sure you can hear the music in the background. It's been like Gosh. that all trip so far. And then uh, also we have it's had cold. parades. I 
at 7 a.m. every morning. That's right outside our a window. Band. Yeah, a That's band right, at like, 7.20, exactly. It's, it's like, uh, boom. The is ready to go. Like, literally, right? it's, it's like outside our door. Yeah. And so. then <laughs> we finally try to go back to sleep. And then uh, housekeeping knocks on my Housekeeping knocks, right. That's right. That's at right. 8 a.m. Yeah. And they're so like, like, did we, we, we wake you up or should we make sure we woke you up? Yeah, basically. exactly. Um, I know. But again, just all the things that we have to go through Speaking to of make sure up, we're on point Speaking on of waking day. up, uh, we had a Grand Prix together and was it Manchester? Somewhere. It's, uh, so Paige's room and my room, we're on the same flight back, uh, is next to each other. And then at 4 a.m., Paige is in downstairs. And this is before the, this is before like our head of team and our president get down there. And I knock on Paige's door, I'm like, Paige, yeah, Paige, wake my up, alarm, wake up, wake My up. alarm wasn't set. That's right. So I'm like, you know, having an amazing dream. He like starts banging Slamming on my door. On his door. And he's like, our bus is here. <laughs> and and then she's like, of course, you know, I'm a procrastinator. I don't have my suitcase in order. So I just like, no! <laughs> so I'm like, just throw me your sporting gear. I'll yeah, take yeah. it downstairs and throw your stuff in the bag. And, and then the yeah. whole ride uh, her and I are sitting in the back yeah. and we're just laughing like you know that when you can't stop laughing it's the worst joke ever yeah because somehow <laughs> but somehow we got my stuff all the way down and got on the bus in less than like 10 minutes oh, we were so that's, that's why we were laughing so like, that was like actually one of our first experiences together yeah. it's just and yeah. we were laughing the whole time because nobody realized how late and how disorganized yes. I was I was, <laughs> was yeah so. yeah no, That's, but yeah. it's funny because I did lose I did lose my Olympic shoes there. No way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lose them. Hopefully we can do one together this yeah, next yeah, trip. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the story. And That's then, one of our first uh, I have this weird thing about always going to the movies. And on every trip, yeah. with every teammate, oh I've gone gosh. to the movies. I'm like, hey, you want to watch this one? And everybody says yes, even if, except this, yeah, this person right here. Yeah, but even if we're, like, in an exotic country, like Turkey or, like, Moscow or yeah, something, movies. it's like, hey, do you want to go to the movies? And I'm like... Comments. It's more like we're going to the movies. We don't and even know if it's in English. Like, it's like, yeah. no, let's go to the movies. And everybody's like, psych. It's because the popcorn yeah. tastes different in every every country you're in. Oh. I don't know if you're a popcorn fan or not. but <laughs> so. Speaking of, speaking of, so one of the things that we love about like going to different countries is we love going to the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Because our favorite aisle is what? Candy? Yeah. Okay, candy. just making sure. No, veg right vegetables, of course, and healthy <laughs> stuff, you know. She likes We're peanut athletes. she likes peanut M and M's. I like the regular. Yeah. And yeah. game day, that's your thing. Yeah, right? that's my thing. Mine's Snickers. My thing Snickers. is peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to buy anything, just a heads and up. Bananas, like, and bananas, and bananas. <laughs> no, but we always go. It's so bad because, you know, we're always, like, dieting and eating really healthy up to the tournament. And then as soon as we get there, it's, like, oh, straight to the, the candy worst. aisle. Yeah. Like, forget about it. Gummy bears, <laughs> yeah. M &Ms, yeah, but, okay, so we always, like, look at the chocolates. Uh, if we go to Europe, we always go and get Milka chocolate. Oh, that's right. Milka yep. chocolate is amazing. Yeah. Or Bueno. Yeah, Kinder. Bueno. I was about to say, Kinder, yeah. Kinder's are fire. But we haven't been able to do this yet in uh, Peru because we're, we're here. Yeah, we're, we so, we're literally we stuck within here. these walls yeah. of like... Nice of a naval academy. Yeah, it's yeah nice. we're at a yeah. naval base. It's better than what I expected, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. Right. What else? It's cold, but... So what's the, I guess, what's the coolest experience overall? Would it be Toronto or Olympics or what's the best thing you've, Wait, you've been to? Wait, Pan Am's Well, I guess like a Like multi-sport games? Yeah, multi-sport multi multi games. Multi-sport games. I mean, of course, the Olympics is the best. Yeah. Uh, London, okay. I was spoiled for London. But, you know, Toronto was amazing too. Okay. And Guadalajara. I mean, they all have their, their perks. Right. You know what I mean? So, well, eventually get there here in Peru and like the opening ceremonies is tomorrow yeah. so I'm really excited about that I think that's my favorite uh, part of a multi and it's going to be Luis Fonsi um, yeah so that would be pretty cool I think it would be cool who's that the guy that's saying Despacito oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. And then what would, That's I guess, cool. one more question would be is, what's the hardest tournament you fought in? Whether it's oh. a G1 or Olympic. Olympics, it could be because of, like, what's going on around it. Yeah, yeah. But it's just that Grand Prix goal we have, which is insane. Yeah. Um, um, closer we go.